Okay, welcome back. There's a wheat shortage. Indonesia just announced that it was banning all exports of palm oil. Let's get into it. Okay, welcome back. Before we get started, hit that like button and subscribe. All right, so there's a lot of things that's going on. Uh, Indonesia just announced that it was banning uh, palm oil. They are the third largest uh, exporter of palm oil. And the article states, which is in Bloomberg, you can look this up. It says, uh, Indonesia, which ships about a third of the world's edible oil cargoes, has just imposed a sweeping ban on palm oil exports to protect its domestic market. Wow. So, the vegetable oil, uh, I think the soybean oil, there's a lot of oils that's going to be, uh, you're going to see a lot of short shortages in your supermarket. I went out to, um, I think, a couple of markets, and I didn't see, they only had the little small bottles of uh, oil. And, um, I mean, my wife, she uses, you know, oil to fry chicken and stuff like that, but me personally... Uh, I don't use that much oil. I prefer baking. Um, she did. Uh, she went out and bought an air fryer. She went out and bought an air fryer to, um, you know, see how that works out. But um, yeah, it's a lot of oil that you're not going to see in your supermarket. Now, far as wheat shortage, it's a lot of items that you're not going to see in the supermarkets. One is this right here. You may see, I used to catch a lot of uh, these small boxes of um, cream of wheat inside of the uh, dollar stores. And so far, I haven't seen that many. It's like they pulled them off the shelves, you know, covering them up with cereal and stuff like that. And, you know, the crisis over there, what's going on is definitely going to be a shortage in food that's going to affect your bread, the prices of bread. Also, if you guys... Um, what I, if you guys use this, this is also going to be affected in the price. This is uh wheat germ. Now I do, um, this is high in fiber. It has, uh, vitamin A and E. I do put this inside of my oatmeal. You can put it in yogurt. There's a lot of ingredients. I mean, excuse me. There's a lot of, a lot of things you can use in this and there's a lot of recipes Put it like that, recipes. That's the word I'm looking for. There's a lot of recipes you can use with this wheat germ. And I bought this, actually I bought a couple of jars of the, the wheat germ and I think it was $2.59. I guarantee you when I check the uh, price, when I go back in the market, I'm gonna shop around and try to compare some prices. I guarantee you that same jar is gonna be almost five bucks. Yeah, man, that's a great, um, source of vitamin A and E you know for those people who trying to stay physically fit you want to try to keep your diet diet balanced try putting some wheat germ in your oatmeal in the morning you know so what else is going on in the news oh gas prices where I'm at right now okay last week the gas prices were roughly around four it was 406. Three ninety nine was the um, three ninety nine was what I saw on some some gas stations. Uh, the price, as far as that, that was the the lowest price that I found was three ninety nine, but that was at one gas station. So a week went by, two weeks went by, bam, gas prices hit four oh four oh nine. They went up to four oh nine. And just in one, it wasn't, I don't think it was one month. It was in three weeks, excuse me, the gas prices from 406 jumped all the way to $4.29 for regular. $5.29, no, it's $5.99. Was it $4.99 or $5.99? Actually, it's $4.99 for premium. And the middle grade, which is roughly around, uh, 479 somewhere in that market but yeah just in that short span 
the gas prices shot up. I thought we were supposed to get some kind of uh, <laughs> release in the emergency or reserve and stuff like that. But uh, apparently that is not the case where I'm at. You know, it is getting rough out here. You know, rough to do anything. You know, vacation is a lot of things that you're going to have to do to adjust. Like I was uh, explaining to, um, I think it was one of my uh, co-workers. And they were stating that uh, we might have to uh, cancel their vacation trip because the gas prices are, 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 are just too, it's just too high. So I was telling them, hey man, you got to substitute some things. Maybe take a trip local. You know, you can't go to uh, Myrtle Beach. You can't take those uh, campers out to uh, eight hour trips or seven hour trip because the gas is, is just too high. Not to mention diesel. Some cases diesel was like 569. 569 for one gallon of gas you know that's crazy but you know all of that boils down to it's just going to tr do a triple trickle effect down to the consumers down to the people who pay who's paying taxes you know you're going to see a lot of items that you normally would purchase those items are going to sharply increase because of the fuel that is one of the biggest things that's going to increase the price is the fuel you know the shippers are going to trickle that price down to the consumers you know you're going to see on some say like if you purchase um say like a freight item what you're going to see on there you're going to see fuel surcharge you know it's a lot of things like um oh yeah so i do a lot of online shopping um uh, do a lot of online shopping and stuff like that. So one of the things that is definitely, I think is just off the market is Dixie coffee cups. You can't find Dick. If you do find them, I say for a box of 500 coffee cups, you're going to be paying around. I was normally paying around, uh, what was it? About $89 for, um, a box of, 500 for a case of 500 cups now the price jumped from 89 dollars to 178 for a case of coffee cups check online look for dixie coffee cups you know the ones that's um the ones that i get normally get are they like um i think they're hot hot cups with a little foam around it but yeah most people say oh just try a different cup this and that for the company I work for, they like particular cups. They're very picky in their items. And, you know, just some of the things that are at, that's just, it's just gonna be going up, man. It's just gonna be going up. It's a lot of things. Food is gonna be going up. So you wanna, you know, keep on stocking up on items, uh, non-perishable items. You don't wanna go and start putting all these, um, Food that you know that's going to go bad in a week. Like those little salad mixes. They're not going to last that long. They're probably going to last for approximately a week inside your refrigerator if you don't eat it immediately. Depending on what you get, you know. But yeah, man. Also, what's going on around here? We all, we all know there's a first... Oh, raw material. Raw material is another thing for everybody that needs, uh, if you have any family members that need medication, try to get your prescriptions in now. Try to double up on the prescriptions. I just put in a couple of orders for some medication and, you know, because I'm telling you right now, the way things are looking, it's going to be a wait. Either you're going to probably have to wait a couple of weeks or it's going to be out of stock. But yeah, you want to try to double up on everything just in case you have a shortage with anything, you know. So, yeah. So, it's a lot of things that's going on, man. And those fuel prices are definitely going to, excuse me, it's definitely going to affect your everyday uh, supplies you want to try to go out if you have a car 
you want to try to go out and purchase uh, if you got extra money try to get yourself uh, the stuff you need for your vehicles your lawn equipment you know like if you got uh, riding mowers try to get yourself belts um, blades try to get yourself something extra extra to have on your shelf you know you want to have a little storage for you yourself you know because it's a lot of things you're gonna say well I just purchased this three or four months ago and it was this price they're gonna hike the price up they're definitely going to hike the price up so I've been out getting the stuff that I need oil you need oil for those tractors purchase some oil you need uh, filters you want to get filters for those uh, garden tractors those lawn tractors you want to try to keep a stock because things are about to get rough it's a lot of things that's about to get rough it's already a fertilizer shortage you may not see it now but as the year uh, as the year go along you're going to start seeing shortages in a lot of things Get yourself some more, more water. Get yourself a Berkey system. Try to get yourself, what you basically, what I'm doing is, if we having a shortage in wheat, stuff like that, I try to, you know, I don't, I used to purchase bread, this and that. I try to take that out of my diet, not eating a lot of bread and stuff like that. I try to, you know, try to change my diet. You know, if you're if there's an oil shortage, you might want to start baking more food. Get yourself, like I said, my wife got an air dry, air fryer. Get yourself an air fryer. So it's a lot of things you're not going to see on the market no more. You may have to make adjustments. You may have to adjust your eating habits. You know, learn how to fast. You know, start a fast. Adjust your body. You can't always see, oh, there's Burger King. Oh, there's McDonald's. Let me go get a burger. Try to adjust your eating habits. You can't always sit up there and eat three or four or five times a day. It's not good for your health. It's not good for your blood pressure, your cholesterol. You know, you got to try to burn that excess weight off. Try to do a 10 minute exercise. Try to get your body in shape. You stocking all that food and you're not. Uh, uh, maintaining your, your 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 health, it's not going to work. You're going to be sitting up there stocking up and have a slight heart attack because you are not in shape. And guess what? That's going to be your fault because your doctor told you to burn some, um, go on an exercise, try to burn some weight, and you didn't listen. Yet and still, you want to sit in front of the TV and snack all day so yeah man you got to keep yourself busy you know ah man i just don't i just don't get it then also you have a lot of jobs out here you have a lot of people that went to college you know they got these degrees um these uh student loans these sixty thousand dollars eighty thousand dollars forty thousand dollars in debt and I don't know what people were thinking, you know, going to school. I'm not sure what they went to school for, but to me, I think it was a setup because you're going to school for, you gotta look at the market. You're going to school for what? What, what do people be taking up? Uh, art. I got a bachelor's degree in art. I personally don't, I'm just, I'm just saying. You got a bachelor's degree in art. So you're gonna come out of uh, college and you can be looking for a job in art, whatever, whatever that is. I'm just making a point. And people go to school and they come out with these degrees expecting to make a hundred thousand dollars or eighty thousand dollars starting. But yet and still the same people who went to college are in Walmart, not putting down Walmart, but they have these bachelor's degrees working at freaking Walmart. You know, when they should have went out and learned how to use these, your hands. You got to learn how to learn a trade, welding, construction, carpentry, plumbing, you know, the building blocks, you know, learn how to fix, fix stuff, you know, mechanic and stuff like that, man. You're going to need it. 
stuff hit the fan, man, you're not gonna I'm telling you. You're gonna have to learn how to do stuff on your own. You know, you're gonna have to be your own pet veterinarian, you know? Go out and get some books on home remedies on how to take care of your pet. You know, people rush to the veterinarian and they don't take the time out to do their own research to try to learn how to common stuff that your pet go through that you can do on your own. You know, some of the stuff that I like the Jace case. If you're not familiar with the Jace case, it's a um, antibiotic uh, case. It's a kit they give you from Jace Medical, and some of the medication inside of that kit is the same medication that can treat your uh, pets. You know, if you look up the the, the um, prescriptions that the veterinarian give you, you will see that it's the same stuff or the same prescription that you may have inside of your Jace case. If stuff hit the fan, you're not gonna find no veterinarian. You are not gonna find no veterinarian. You're gonna be searching around, and if your dog needs uh, medication, you are gonna have to be the veterinarian. Yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and bring a couple of things to light. Continue to stock up on non-perishable foods, canned goods. Get yourself a Berkey water system. Get some extra filters. You know, learn how to use your hands. You know, learn how to fix the stuff around your house. Learn more about your car. Stop always running to the mechanic. You know, calling people in. Sometimes you got to be your own mechanic. Sometimes you got to be your own repair man. You know, if you have the means. You know, some people don't care. They just, I'm calling somebody. Instead of taking the time out and learning how to fix it. So, that's my morning ramble. I call it, that's my morning ramble. But I just wanted to bring a couple of things to light. Um... Check out the prices, uh, the wheat shortage. Um, if you got you got the means, if you cook with oil, try to go get some oil um, or try to air fryer. You know, it's a lot of things that's not going to be on your shelves, but you got to make the proper adjustments. And remember, remember, nothing happens in this world without God. Take the time out to thank. God for what you have right now you know because all this prepping none of this stuff is not going to work if you don't have yourself right so take the time out to thank God and I'm out thank you for watching hit that like button and subscribe